Hello everybody, how are you going? So it's been uh, six weeks since I made that really stupid video that was like in October there will be all these commissions and everything and it'll be really cool and you should get ready to be entertained and none of that actually happened but um, I managed to pull it together for Mortarian and you all seem to like him which was fantastic thank you all for the very nice comments um, I very much appreciate them I'm very glad that you're excited and enjoying uh, the videos it makes it very much worthwhile um, and thank you all of you for your patience um, while I get this next batch of guys up and ready. Speaking of which, here in front of us we have uh, the next set of commissions. Um, here we go, here's the Eldar avatar that started it all last month and Fudge 316 has been waiting very patiently for that. Uh, an update on that, well um, I've done some work on him today um, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is aim to get this, these four left to right done in the next 10 days. So Monday of next week, of the week after next, um, we'll have had probably two videos on each. So one video nearly every day, touching on different points of each production. So uh, working with Forge World, um, repositioning uh, Resin, uh, Manius as Astrobel Vect, working with Green Stuff and Billowy Capes, uh, Warping Terrain, um, uh, Ismu Dyson's uh, Abaddon um, will be uh, how to convert up in terms of scale from an existing metal miniature like Abaddon, which is actually smaller than a Space Marine Terminator, which doesn't make sense because he's actually meant to be in Terminator armor. So I'm going to need to look at him, cast different parts of his armor, and then reapply it to a Terminator body um, in the new pose that we've been talking about. And there'll also be some lots of gore here um, and Yuhu glue and stuff like that. Um, and City and Painting and I are doing a diorama together, which is the uh, corn juggernaut. So the general is sort of riding low slung on the horse, hanging off to the side and cleaving some lizard men in two. So um, that'll be a fun little diorama to put together. And also in here, what I've got is the 40k juggernaut that needs to be sort of um, reverse engineered and adapted to be a Warhammer Fantasy juggernaut. So that will be also the, the focus of that video about that project. So those four done in the next 10 days. Now, if, you, if, you, if that worries you as a client, please just drop me a PM in YouTube um, and just say, hey, I'd like it to take some more time. Um, but let me assure you that I'll only be doing that if I can maintain a level of quality. Of course, um, I, every time I do a project, I'm wor I worry that it's not gonna be as good as the last, um, or that it might be worse, or that people might not like it as much. And I, I always get worried that someone is gonna say, oh, that's not as good as such and such. And I'll, and I'll be terrified. I'm mortified for the client too. So, um, so um, thanks for all the enthusiasm so far, and I want to like keep keep that sort of level of quality, um, and just sort of aim to impress um, or aim to misbehave, um, if you know what that's from. Awesome. So um, I will be trying my best, and we'll be chatting regularly with you guys and keeping in touch, and we'll see how this goes. Um, secret project. I'm not going to talk about it except to say that it's something worthy. Um, and then following on from that is the Sanguinius model. So Wargame Studios 2010 is a fantastic painter and he's going to paint up this alternate version of Sanguinius. Um, not the princey sort of, um, you know, blondy um, beauty version that we're used to. Um, instead, a really cool piece of artwork from DeviantArt. Very like, so, like very sort of um, bulky and brutal. And it's going to be really fun to build that guy. That's for sure. Lots of plastic card work there. Um, then, um, following on from that, um, Fellhands at 505, Obi has got me doing his White Scars Captain on a bike, which is exciting for me because it's the first time I've got to do a bike. And like all of you, um, I grew up in the hobby, <laughs> being inspired by Retribution Angel, and in particular his work on um, bikes. And he used to do some really cool stuff. So I will be blatantly stealing some of his ideas and adapting on them and sort of trying to put my own take on it. I'm just kidding, um, but very much being inspired by what he did. Um, I've got three bikes on order, so we're going to combine three different bikes to, to make the ultimate White Scars bike, um, and a, a really cool looking White Scars um, Space Marine riding it. So those are seven projects for the next, I think, three weeks. Uh, so it's something like a project, you know, two projects a week maybe, um, or a project every two days is probably a better way of putting it, or, um, or two or three days. The next set of commissions after that is um, this commission for custom terrain, my buddy Elliot, who is having me paint up some orcs and plague marines, or as I have here, Plague marines. Um, and 
those are going to be my first painting commission, which is really exciting and also very daunting and will only happen after I finish Mephiston and Dante. Um, so um, that's exciting. Um, that's coming up in the next month and a half. Um, and then also it looks like I'll be doing some Elysian uh, drop troops or in particular an officer of the Elysian drop troop corps um, and another Logan Grimnar. So that's really cool um, with a different take. So a different sort of uh, some similar aspects but also a different pose and a bit of a different energy. So that's exciting. Um, and that will be probably in mid-December. There's a whole bunch of other projects on the go. Um, some, some look like they're going to be confirmed, some, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, but there's lots of exciting models out there, like some really cool things. I won't mention any now in case that they don't come through, um, but in the next couple of weeks look forward to some exciting announcements about things that are coming in the next couple of weeks. So, thank you for your patience while I explain all that sort of stuff. Um, if you are interested in staying around, we'll have a quick look at these four projects and see um, what's on the go. Okay, here we go.